Now we're moving into the fibularis tertius muscle. So it's going to start off this very distal anterior surface of the fibula, and if we bring his foot back and into eversion a little bit, we can actually trace that muscle tendon down right there. Note it does, in some people, share an origination or attachment point with this extensor digitorum longus tendon. You can see it coming right off here, going into the styloid process of the fifth metatarsal. It's the only fibularis muscle that's actually on the anterior side of the fibula. The other two are going to come back and around that lateral malleolus there. So its main actions are eversion, as you can see in an everted state, that muscle and tendon is contracting right through there. For the muscle test for the fibularis tertius, I'm going to bring the patient's knee bent and then we're going to bring him up and into eversion and then what I'm going to try and do is bring him into inversion. So I'm going to support across his ankle here and slowly come in and then we can again see that muscle and tendon contracting right beneath there. Again, I could lean back and away and use my body weight to do this because that's a pretty powerful action. Of course, you're going to get a little bit of fibularis longus and brevis with this muscle test as well, but we're going to show you a variation in a little bit how to isolate those two a little bit better. Keeping the foot in dorsiflexion is a good way to do the tertius. For a leg straight variation of the fibularis brevis muscle test, We'll just have the patient like so, bring him back up and into eversion, and then again, I'm gonna try and move him into inversion. Hold there nice and strong. So to do the muscle test for the fibularis tertius with the patient lying supine, we're gonna bring the foot back and into a bit of eversion. Then what I'm gonna do is try and move him into inversion, and right away we can see that tendon right beneath my pinky there pop up. That's gonna be the tertius. There's going to be your fibularis brevis, and then right here is gonna be the longest tendon, just before it dives deep and enters the sole of the foot.